Hundreds of pages of online writings are among the key pieces of evidence being examined now by investigators. This includes diary entries apparently posted months, weeks, and days before last month's shooting rampage in Buffalo. The News 4 Investigates team has been combing through this lengthy screed. And we want to warn you, some of the details could be disturbing to you or offensive. Luke Moretti reports. The Buffalo shooting suspect's purported diary log was discovered on Discord, an online chat room host. Discord chat rooms are private and encrypted. Discord and other people cannot simply scan and see the content in that chat room. In a statement to News 4 Investigates, a company spokesperson says about 30 minutes prior to the attack, a small group of people were invited to and joined the server created by the suspect. And before that, no other people saw the diary chat log. The online log, which is being examined by federal investigators, shows that he started planning the attack several months ago and that he had considered locations in Syracuse and Rochester for a time. We continue to investigate this case as a hate crime. The diary includes selfies wearing a helmet and camera attached and photos of guns with writings all over them. In February, just three months before the shooting rampage, the top store on Jefferson Avenue appears on his radar, according to the posts. New plan. Buffalo has 10% higher black population. That is the place I will go, referring to it as Attack Area 1. The same month, he writes about his parents knowing very little about him. They don't know that I spent close to $1,000 on random military stuff. They don't even know I own a shotgun or an AR-15 or illegal magazines. The individual was here a few months ago back in early March. In March, he writes about getting a speeding ticket on the way to Buffalo to look for targets, posting sketches of the store, and this picture, writing on March 8th, well... I made it to Buffalo. The diary log indicates that the attack was originally planned for mid-March, but then it's delayed for various reasons. I can't believe I'm actually going through with this. Never in my life would I think I would be a killer. I keep going back and forth from, this is actually insane, to this is the only logical thing to do. He also pokes fun at New York Safe Act. The New York Safe Act didn't prevent me from buying an assault rifle legally and acquiring high capacity magazines. The Binghamton area teenager was never flagged as an extreme risk under the state's red flag law after allegedly threatening murder-suicide last year while in high school. The individual was brought in for a mental health evaluation. He was evaluated and then he was released. He fell through the cracks. The district attorney in Broome County, where the suspect is from, says certain requirements must be met to be red flagged. So the fact that he was evaluated and found not to be dangerous and not to be a threat to himself or others would sort of uh, show that there was no basis to, to get one of those orders. Just days after the shooting, Governor Kathy Hochul signed an executive order that now requires state police to file extreme risk protection orders under the state's red flag law, which prohibits potentially dangerous people from purchasing and possessing guns. Previously, current law, it's an option to do so. And now it'll be a requirement. Obviously, he was suffering from some sort of delusion or mental illness. When you look at the writings, you can, you can tell. In one of his final posts, the suspected shooter writes, Saturday is a go. I feel okay-ish and don't have anything stopping me. I don't feel scared to do it right now. I fully understand the consequences and I fully embrace them. In a statement to News 4 Investigates, a Discord spokesperson says the company is continuing to assist law enforcement, adding, hate has no place on Discord, and we are committed to combating violence and extremism. State Attorney General Letitia James has launched an investigation into social media companies used by the suspected shooter. Luke Moretti, 
News 4.